Hi everyone, my name is Shir Singh and this video is about ARM. Uh, so recently you have noticed that Apple has released their own silicon which is the M1 silicon. So M1 is based on ARM architecture. So in this video I will be talking about the ARM, what is, what basically ARM is and why is it in the hype. So let's get started. So ARM is a company which is based in Cambridge, UK. It does not make the chipset, it designs the chipset and files the patent for it. So all the other company buys the patent and they share some margin of the profit to the ARM company. They do not manufacture any products. So if you talk about why is ARM right now in hype because Apple has released their M1 Max and the M1 chip is based on the ARM architecture. If you talk about the phone, so all the phones has ARM architecture chipset. So for example, if you talk about the iPhones or the Android phones which has the Qualcomm chipset, so the all the Qualcomm chipsets that are the Snapdragon series, it's all made up of ARM architecture. It's based on ARM architecture. If you talk about the iPad, they are also based on ARM architecture. Chromebooks, most of the mobiles come with the ARM architecture. Why? Because the ARM chipset are very energy efficient, very power efficient. So as we use those devices on the go, that's why they don't have much big battery like a laptop. That's why chipset is important. So the ARM chipset is very power efficient. That's why it's used in most of the mobile devices. If you talk about the ARM chipset, they are they are not called CPU, they are called SOC. SOC means system on chip. So ARM is basically an architecture. It's not a CPU component, or it's a basically a design. For example, if you have a building, it's the structure of the building. So if you want, you can make the office out of it or you can make apartment out of it. But it's basically the structure of the building. So ARM is very power, uh, power efficient. So why is ARM different from the other architectures? For example, the x86 architecture from Intel and x64 architecture from AMD. These both architectures are used in the current laptops. For example, if you have any Intel chip, if it's x64 architecture, then it's made up, made from the AMD patent. And if it's x86, then it's made from the Intel's patent. ARM is very power efficient than the other chips. Why? Because ARM is based on single cycle computing whereas the other Intel and AMD chips they are based on multi-cycle processing which means that for example if you give a kid a list of list of groceries and, and get some food from the restaurant so the, what Intel chips does is that it just gives that list and the kid decides where he has to go if he has to buy the groceries first or wants to get the food from the restaurant whereas in the ARM chipset what it does is that it basically does single computing which means that it first gives the list to the kid all the instructions are given with the steps so for example if the kid has to if the list is given to the kid the first step every step is written for example if the kid has to buy food from the restaurant is the first step it so the kid doesn't has to decide it the parent already has given so this is why the intel chips are slower why the cpu has to decide the cpu is given multiple tasks at a single time so that's why the cpu has to process and think what it has to do before the other task whereas in the arm chipset they know what what they have to do first but there's a catch arm chipset are not very popular in the laptop or desktop market why because de desktop apps are not that efficient on the ma on the arm chipset why arm chipset are very power efficient and that's why they are not as powerful as the intel chips just because the intel chipset do multiprocessing that's why the arm chipsets are slower than the intel counterparts but if you give if the chip is bigger in size then arm chipset can compete with the intel as you know that the intel side chips are around 40 nanometer they are based on the 40 nanometer process whereas the arm side the mobile chipset they are now at 5 nanometers so that's why the smaller the size the small the information has to travel that's why arm chipsets are much faster than the intel counterparts how arm earns money so here's an example so for example apple buys patent from the arm architecture it uses the arm architecture in its mobile chip for example the upcoming iphone 13 apple uses the arm architecture for its a 15 bionic chip so what it does is 
as the iPhone sells, Apple will share some of the profit from the phones to, to the arm company. This is how arm company earns money. They just sells the patent and gets paid by the company for the uh, profit. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright